Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're talking about multi-step tightening programs. We're gonna show off our new integrated controller smart tool. This thing has a built-in controller. It communicates directly with my laptop via Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna show you how to build a multi-step tightening process. We're gonna run down some parts and take a look at the advantages that this can give to your tightening station. Let's check it out. All right, so what is multi-step? Traditionally, we would program a power tool in a two-step process. We'd have a high-speed rundown to advance the fastener, and then we'd shift speeds to a slower speed to control the torque so we could accurately hit the spec. What the multi-step option gives us is even more configurability that gives us even more advantages that I can program through my PC. So I just connected my power tool via Wi-Fi to the web interface. Let's create a new tightening program. This is gonna be a simple multi-step tightening. So let's create a new program with the plus sign here. We're doing a tightening operation and we're gonna give this program a name in the properties here. We're gonna call this Titan M8, all right? Let's give it a maximum torque limit based on the upper limit of our tightening process. The upper limit's gonna be 25 Newton meters and let's hit apply, okay? Now we have a blank slate to create our multi-step tightening program. All right, the first step we're gonna do is our rundown step. We see you got a, a step named rundown. We're gonna click and drag this into our tightening program. And then our final step is gonna be a tightening to torque step. So we drag the torque step here and we're recreating a simple two-step operation like you may have seen before when connected to one of our power tools. Let's open up the parameters of the program and define what we need to. All right, so here during the rundown, we want to define a rundown torque. This is gonna be three Newton meters, and I wanna run this down fast, right? We're building a production program to make short cycle time, so we're gonna go 300 RPM, all right? We're also gonna modify the maximum angle limit here because the rundown is gonna take more angle than 360 degrees to seat. We're gonna make this 8,000 degrees, all right? So we apply that change. Now let's dive into the tightening operation. Right, we open this up, we have our tightening torque, our target's 20 Newton meters, and we're going to just leave it right there. So we apply that change, and now we built a simple two-step tightening within our multi-step framework. Let's run down the sample and see how it works. So we just recreated a simple two-step tightening into our multi-step configuration. Let's try our rundown and see how it goes. Good. We got a green light. Now let's add something new into the configuration. So we made a simple program that simulated the two-step tightening operation and we got an okay result. Now let's add something new that we couldn't do before with a two-step. Let's add a loosening step at the beginning of the process, all right? This is something we really couldn't do with the two-step operations before, but with multi-step, I can drag and drop a new step right into the process. So why would you wanna do something like this? Let's say the process was prone to cross-threading. You may wanna start in reverse to help align the thread to make sure that it's gonna run down smoothly and evenly into our high-speed rundown and then into our final torque. Let's define the parameters of our step here. All right, let's bump the speed up to 120 RPM, make our tightening angles 360 degrees, and let's put a high limit of torque of five Newton meters. All right, we apply that change, and now we're ready to run just that easy, a multi-step tightening. So we added a reverse step to our tightening program. So within one trigger pull, it's gonna go backwards 360, and then it's gonna go into the rundown phase and into the final tightening. Let's see what that looks like. So there it is, an introduction to multi-step tightening. We recreated what we used to do with a two-step operation and even added something that we could never do before. In the next few videos, we're gonna show how this thing can really help your tightening operations and improve your production. We'll see you next time.